we're adults. Living in Thailand together. So I'm Chana, like Chinese Hannah. This is Ginny from the blog. From the blog. <laughs> <laughs> Follow us on Instagram to keep up with our adventures. Like Chinese Hannah, Ginny from the blog. <laughs> you gotta emphasize the duh. <laughs> duh, duh, duh. <laughs> so last topic is life in Sukhum Burry. You don't know about this. Um, so we went to night market a couple nights ago at the temple. Everything was lit up, and I guess this is their version of like fall festival. <laughs> Bouncy house. Anyways, what is the weirdest thing you've seen at markets? Um, I think the weirdest thing so far was those bamboo things because I still don't know. It's like these bamboo sticks with like, I, is it colored rice in them? It's like purple rice or I don't think it's rice. It's like very mushy and they, they put it in and then they, I guess they boil it in there and then they chop it and you'll see the video. Like they chop the bamboo and then open it and the steam comes out. I guess it's really good. I was too scared to get one, but that is the weirdest thing I've seen so far seen it at that big big market yeah we don't see that at everyday markets this was the big fall festival one i guess um i think my weirdest thing was those birds it was a whole bird okay it was a small bird but oh, it was yeah. still an entire bird like with the head and the feet still on it like yeah and i asked the guy i was like what is it and all he said was he goes they angry birds so i don't know what kind of bird it was i didn't try one i didn't want to um, I actually still think it's weird that they just have raw meat and raw fish and raw squid and raw octopus just laying out in open air. Yeah, it's like it's like you. I guess in some booths you pick the raw meat you want and then they cook it in front of you, like in in the open. Yeah. Um, it just still seems completely unsanitary, but they've been living life like this for God knows how long. I guess it's fine for them. Yeah, and um, oh, but now that we're talking about it, that it open. Um, like cage of insects i know that's at other places too but that like they all stay in there the insects just stay in the cage and then get cooked yeah then they get cooked like they like wait to be cooked and they're so loud while they're there like they're just chirping away i'm like excuse me oh wow why don't they jump out um yeah that's probably the weirdest things we've seen um the day markets are also really interesting we got to see them downtown a few times mm -hmm. And that's always kind of exhilarating because motorcycles just just drive through the market. Yeah, they like pick up broccoli and asparagus. Yeah, as they go. Asparagus. So if you're a pedestrian, you have to watch out. <laughs> you have to like jump out of the way. Yeah, it happens quite often here, actually. Me but, and Jenny have almost gotten hit, what, three or four times? Yeah, now? oh god, the second day we were here, I almost got hit. Barely late. That was the worst, worst time I almost got hit. Yeah, but motorcycles, we have been on two motorcycle taxis now. They are really fun and kind of terrifying. Yeah. Let me swap that. They are kind of fun and really terrifying. Yeah. Because cheap. They are cheap. Um, it's like a dollar to go on them and they'll take you anywhere. For but both of us. Yeah. Well, no, I guess for two of us it's two dollars. Yeah, for two of us. Oh no, two whole dollars. Oh yeah, so Thailand's really expensive. Okay. Um, but when you're going straight, it's fine. When they take the turns, that's when we get a little nervous. Yeah. Um, but I guess that kind of covers it for markets. Um, and one thing about the day markets, you can find a lot more variety of stuff in there because they have a ton of vegetables, like vegetables that you don't normally see at the night markets. Like they have like broccoli. I haven't seen avocados yet, but they have broccoli and then they have like just so much green, cilantro, basil, um, mint. They have all of that there that I don't really see. Yeah, we've been on the lookout for avocados here. Yeah. Um, haven't seen one. So. so when this account blows up in years, and then, years. Uh, and then um, a Thai local sees this video. Who we want avocados! Us. Show us the avocados, please. Um, but that's day to day life with markets. Ooh. Chana trips five times a day. So do you! Or today, yeah, but like she also trips just so much. I just need to say that. <laughs> Here's some footage of her tripping. I don't have any footage There's of you tripping. There has to be footage of you tripping. No, here's footage of us trying to cross the road, though. It's featuring Chana tripping. Probably. <laughs> uh, so they're all on that.
Oh. Oh. Sh oh. Oh, bless. Oh, he knows. He oh. Knows. Oh, no. Oh, okay. okay. No, he, no, he doesn't. Something. Come back. Oh, Cross walk, guys, sir. Help. No, no, ready? No, no, no. Ready? Followers at this point have seen the other videos. Every video we should just go up by one. Like every five of our followers are so <laughs> simple. <laughs> so like people follow us so that my accounting can be accurate. Yeah. Um so all four of our followers <laughs> donate to a worthy cause. <laughs> our well-being. <laughs> so like and subscribe. Or follow us on Instagram like Chinese Hannah. Oh I forgot we're Jenny from the block. Until next time! Sawadika! Dot, dot.